And uh, once we get down close to the lake here, we'll get Dad to say a few words. We got him on the video here. We got to get him in place. Interesting genesis here. We used to have fish in this big old tank here. I remember he was big long story about the fish, but he had no place to bring them in the winter time. So every time it got cold, the the, the fish would freeze. And that's what would happen there. So, Dad, what made you uh, build a pyramid boathouse oh, like this, uh, like this, uh, close to the water like that? I'm just kind of curious why you did a pyramid one. Didn't you have, didn't you have a lot of choices on the type of boathouse you could build, but you chose oh, yeah. this? Well, this is pyramid power, you know. So, so that makes the boats last longer, or is that just supposed oh, yeah. to? Well, the boat makes uh, last longer, and also makes the person last longer. Just get under there and uh, stay there a while, and it cures everything that's wrong with Oh, it. so you partially attribute your longevity to pyramid power, then? Oh, yeah. That's oh, wow, that's, a, that's an interesting concept. I have to... Maybe, maybe everybody should build their houses in shapes of pyramids so that we could uh, address the longevity issues here. Yeah, it has to be made just the right proportion according to the pyramids in Egypt, you know? And is this one made in the uh, exact proportions per the pyramids of Egypt? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. It's a heck of a nice vistage, uh, visage here out over the lake. Vista. Vista is the word I was looking for. And there's the, the raft. I don't know how much swimming Dad does uh, with that raft anymore. But that's a nice image, too, of the lake. We got no skidoos on there today. Dad's got the, the boat out on the dock and the picnic table. That's the scene of a lot of uh, Fourth of July celebrations here.